Which one is better, jam or fruit filling for the cake layer? Well, fresh fruit cake filling is not too sweet compared to jam. Because of this, it is an excellent pair for generally all sweet desserts, especially cakes. Besides, it helps keep the balance of desserts so you can taste the other textures and flavors. On the other hand, jams have many preservatives which you do not need for cakes. It is essential to know the kind of fruit filling you will use whether it is sufficiently stable. Because if you don't, there is a big possibility that the fruit filling will ooze out of the sides. In addition to that, the top layer will tend to move around. In this regard, make sure always to choose the appropriate fruit filling for your cake. Using fruit filling. Essentially, you apply piping of frosting on top of the cake layer around the outer edge of the cake. Because of this, it acts as a dam to hold the fruit filling between the cake layers. In addition to that, you can add fresh fruit between the cake layers. However, you should only make this kind of cake within several hours of consuming it. Keep in mind that the fruit resumes ripening even when stored in the fridge. As a result, its juices will start to soak in the cake. What you will need. Ingredients. 2 and 1 quarter cups of strawberries. Half cup granulated sugar. 2 tablespoons cornstarch. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 cup of water. 1 eighth teaspoon of kosher salt. Step-by-step -step instructions. Step 1. Grab your fresh strawberries, wash each piece thoroughly. Then, make sure to hold the strawberries by removing the stalk and core. Afterward, chop the strawberries in equal sizes. Step 2. After that, in medium heat, fill your saucepan in half water. Allow to boil, then add the sugar. Constantly stir the sugar until it dissolves evenly. Step 3. Then, as you let the sugar dissolve, mash the strawberries using a fork or a potato masher. Step 4. In a mixing bowl, mix cornstarch and water, then stir. Afterward, pour the cornstarch mixture into the strawberries and stir well. Step 5. Then, pour the strawberry and cornstarch mixture into the saucepan. Cook on medium heat, you will notice that the mixture will begin to thicken and look glossy. Make sure that the cornstarch comes to a boil so that the consistency will turn transparent. Step 6. Try dipping a spoon and test if it is thick enough to coat the back. Doing this indicates if it is ready. After that, remove from heat, then allow to cool for a few minutes. Step 7. Grab a strainer and strain the fruit filling into a clean jar. Straining the mixture will remove all the fruit fibers to get a smooth consistency. But if you prefer to have chunks, you can opt not to strain them. Then, pour into a clean jar. Lastly, keep refrigerated until needed. Tips and tricks. First of all, best paired with simple moist vanilla cakes. Apart from that, it would be best to use granulated white sugar because it dissolves easily. Also, it does not add any color. Also, consider the cake's taste and make sure the fruit filling will complement it. If fresh strawberries are unavailable, you can use frozen fruits but reduce the water. Always check if the fruits are sweetened so you can modify the sweetness. You can add a handful of tablespoons of hot water to modify the consistency if the cornstarch starts to thicken. You can substitute the water for lemon juice, but only when the sugar dissolves. Do not overcook the fruit filling because it will cause the cornstarch to become lumpy. With that, add a few cups of water to have the right consistency. You can keep the filling at room temperature for a few hours. You can put it in the fridge for about a week, but can be frozen for up to three months. Additionally, never select a fruit filling that will melt at warm temperatures, especially at a summer picnic. Because of this, ensure that you can store it in a cooler. Likewise, if the cake has to be made in advance, make sure the fruit filling will hold up for that length of time. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.